Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my studio apartment here in the heart of Shanghai, China. This is what a studio apartment looks like. It is tiny. Look at this thing, but it has everything I need. My refrigerator, my bed, a bathroom here, and a kitchen right here. Can you guess how much this apartment costs? $500 a month. That's right. You might think that that is a little bit pricey for an apartment so small, but it's actually a great deal considering that I'm in the very center of the city where I can get easy access to the metro system and basically walk anywhere in about half an hour. Yeah, sure, you can find a really huge apartment for $500 a month in China if you're somewhere in the outskirts of a city or in a rural area. But I'm located in the dead center of Shanghai. I just woke up, I'm about to start cooking breakfast, so why don't I give you a little tour of my apartment. It's almost ready, I got a couple eggs and some oatmeal I'm cooking. Here's my front door, well, I guess my only door. Got my heater right here, keeps me warm in the winter time. Got some shelves up here for storing things in a little cabinet area. My bed, of course my laptop for doing work, my little monkey friend. My cabinets up here where I stash all my clothes. Got my guitar, tripod, rice cooker, plenty of water. Got my refrigerator right here, all kinds of stuff in there. Coffee machine, oatmeal, bananas, got a television, air con up here. Here's my bathroom. Look at this thing. It's tiny, but it does the trick. Got a toilet, a sink, and a shower. I could stand in one place and use all three of them at the same time. Better get back to my eggs before they... I'm just gonna dump these right on here. The best thing about living here and the thing that makes it well worth $500 a month is the location. All my favorite food stalls are really close by. It's a 10 minute commute to work and I can just walk there. So I don't spend anything on commute. I'm gonna add up my total living expenses for you right now. This apartment is my biggest expense, about 3,000 RMB a month, close to $500 a month. Then there's internet, 70 RMB a month, 50 RMB a month for water. Then there's another 50 for electricity. I eat a lot of rice and pasta at home that I cook myself. I go out and eat locally, very close in the neighborhood. I never commute. So I'll spend about 20 to 40 RMB. My biggest expenses come out to 5,000 RMB a month. That's maybe close to about $800 a month for the things that I really need. Take another bite of oatmeal here. Mm. Anyone else enjoy putting bananas in your oatmeal? Matt, if you have a poverty of desire, you can be one of the richest people in the world with very little money. There are people living within 20 meters of me. In fact, in this same building, entire families that are occupying a space as big as mine. And they're getting by with a fraction of the income that I get. And that's why I live this sort of minimalist lifestyle here with a very small apartment, but it's everything I need and then some. This is way more than the average person on the earth has. So I still feel very fortunate given that I have the opportunities that I do to work freelance jobs and make money with YouTube and do all this. I just finished my oatmeal. As I'm washing my dishes here, let me know what kind of videos that you'd like to see. Because when I'm not traveling and I'm here in Shanghai, I have some time to film and edit. so. Maybe I could start doing more daily vlog type of videos or show you what my life is like here in China. So leave a comment. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see. Of course, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.